Here we have a quadrilateral with four sides. Now we choose their midpoints. And these two midpoints, these two opposite midpoints are connected, these two as well. Well, these two line segments may look perpendicular, but actually they're not. They don't have to be. And they divide our big quadrilateral into four small ones. And the areas of three of them are known. The area of this one is 20, the area of this one is 21, and the area of this one is 25. Now our question is, how large is the area of our fourth small quadrilateral? How large is the shaded area? Hmm, not easy. We have a trick. Now our idea is, we have an intersection. Now, we also have four midpoints of four sides. So now what we can do is to connect this point, this intersection, with these four points to the four vertices of the big quadrilateral. Now, Sorry, I don't know the area of our shaded quadrilateral. What can we do? Now, it is divided into two smaller triangles. Sorry, I also do not know the areas of the two triangles. Doesn't matter, what can we do? Now, we can suppose the area of this triangle is, for example, A. The area of this triangle is B, and, and then our shaded area is A plus B. So that's the answer. No, of course not. We have to evaluate A plus B, so that's not the answer. You're not supposed to write, suppose this is A, this is B, and our shaded area is A plus B. That doesn't work. But what we are really supposed to do is to express the areas with terms about A and B. Look at this triangle. Because this is the midpoint of this side, so that means these two line segments are equal. And now, have a look at this big triangle. I mean this one. Now, have a good look at our, these two triangles. If these two sides are regarded as their bases, then their bases are equal. What about their heights? If their heights are also equal, then their areas are equal as well. Of course, their heights are equal because these two triangles share a same height. The heights to this size are both the heights from this point to this side. So now we can actually construct it. Now you can clearly see that these two triangles share a height. For this one, this is its base and this is its height. For our this one, this is the base and this is also its height. And their bases are equal. So that means their areas are equal. If their areas are equal, then the area of this triangle is just A. We also have the same reason for this one, for this pair. It has an area B, this triangle as well, because this point is also the midpoint of our this side. However, there are four triangles left. 
Don't worry. Here is A. Here is, of course, 25 minus A. Why? Because the area of this quadrilateral is 25. So this triangle must be 25 minus A. So that means this triangle is also 25 minus A because they have the same area. Here we have 20 minus B here as well because they have the same area. At last, we focus on this quadrilateral. You know, this quadrilateral, this triangle plus this triangle is its area. However, its area is also 21. So now we have an equation that is 25 minus A plus 20 minus B equals 21. It is 45 minus the sum of A and B equals 21. Very easy. A plus B is just 24. So that means our shaded area is 24. Did you get the trick? Did you get the method? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.